run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, daily question, what sweets do you like the most? Drop your answers down below. back so today it is charity shop hunting i was gonna do a really bad uh, little intro uh, in the voice of david attenborough because you know charity shop hunting hunting for animals even though that's not what david attenborough does but it would have worked in some capacity but i can't do the david attenborough voice can i so yeah it just won't work which is very annoying um but yeah charity shop hunting let's go and see what we can find uh feeling positive today my local charity shops Mm, the hit and miss, you know the drill, you know, I've been out with you enough times on these videos for you guys to know, sometimes I get stuff, sometimes I get loads, uh, sometimes I get nothing, you know, it's a right sporadic affair really, there can be great things or, or nothing really, but we'll see what we can get and uh, I will take you with with me right now. <laughs> We have arrived in Northwich now and we're going to do some charity shops, got some boxes to get as well, got some shopping to do, so loads of different things. I'll just take you with me and vlog as much of it as I can. Uh, I've got battery in my phone today which is pretty cool, um, but yeah, let's get on with the day. Just got the boxes there are some tasty ones in here today you can see all uh, a lot of these are just double walled ones with nice uh, sizes as well so yeah so i'm just getting ready to do the next few charity shops i'm about uh well not quite halfway or maybe about halfway something like that um so yeah i've not got anything yet it's been a bit poor actually i don't know why sometimes it is um, but we'll see what I get if I get anything um, also it's been the Cheshire show today and uh, tomorrow I think it is so the roads were a little bit busy coming in um, I'll stick a picture up on the screen actually um, you know, like now or a minute ago um, for you to see it for you to see what it what it is if you don't know what it is basically like a big country show uh, with loads of things going on really but anyway I'll see you in the next few charity shops <laughs> guys I'm just heading across the car park to the last charity shop which is Bernardo's uh, I have not got anything today I spoke to a charity shop manager that I know quite well he said things are just not coming in at the moment but also some of the other charity shops there was actually things that I could have bought but they're just priced too high which is just annoying um, but you know if they want to price them at whatever they want to price them at then that's fine I've just got to take off the top whatever I can really and just find what I can and today it doesn't look like a very good day but that's sometimes a sad reality really shopping is done
Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to the whole segment of this video. Now you might be wondering why has he got a different jump on? Um, basically, I just got home and I had this arrive for me in the post. It's in our, it was in our little post bin at the side of the house and I couldn't help myself but try it on. Um, so yeah, if you like it, put an I like it in the comments. If you don't like it, put an I don't like it in the comments. Or, to be honest, you don't have to put anything in the comments because, you know, it's your choice. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'll get on and show you the couple of items that I did get today. I didn't strike out very, very close to doing, uh, just held on by the skin of my teeth, really. I also picked out a couple of items, just two items from the other room, from my most recent auction haul, just because I thought they were quite interesting, just to share them with you as well, just to kind of pad out the whole video at least a little bit more. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I will get on with this and uh, share with you the first item. Slow day at the car boot? Then you need the Ads Experience hoodie. This hoodie is guaranteed to get you the goods. So, as I mentioned, these, uh, as I mentioned in probably one of the last clips, um, I didn't get anything until the very last charity shop. I was going into the last charity shop, and I mentioned, you know, the fact I just didn't get anything. And I also mentioned about one of the charity shop managers that I know, saying there's not really been uh, that much in, and it does seem charity shops these days, compared to just even three or four years ago, um, are a lot harder to source in, really, really are they. They seem to be um, so much harder these days. There are items in the charity shops that I'm seeing that are decent items, but they're just out of my price range, really. And if, chat, as I mentioned in the other, chat, uh, the other clip, if charity shops want to price um, at retail, then that's totally up to them, that's fine. I'm not gonna, you know, slander them or anything for doing it, that's their choice. They have to get as much money as they, they can, really. But it is sad as a reseller, and I've touched on this so many times before, that you go in and you see these items that potentially could be a good profit, and you just can't pick them up. But, you know, there are gems that you can still find in charity shops. There are things that you can, can still pick up. So it is still worth going around, at least in my opinion. I know there are other resellers out there who would be quick to say, well, it's just not worth going around and all the rest of it. But I do think it is still worth it. I, I would recommend, though, and this is something I don't really take... I don't really practice what I preach in this, but I really should do. Um, I would recommend just going to different towns rather than just the same town over and over, but I tend to just go my, around my same town and that's when it can sometimes get a little bit frustrating because you know you don't see the new stuff or you can't find um, the things that you'd like to find. But when you go to a different town with fresh eyes, sometimes it is uh, much better. But anyway, I'll stop rambling and I'll get on with the video. So first off was this brand new and sealed Articulate Your Life. Now I was umming and ahhing for about 30 seconds to a minute on this, just looking at it thinking, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, because it was six quid. Now that's quite a lot really, I mean, I would have paid four quid for it, I might have even paid five, but when I was thinking six quid, that's, mm, that's kind of a lot. Um, but I thought to myself, on Amazon at Christmas, when prices go up, this should be about 25 quid, I might even get a little bit more for it. Obviously it depends if Amazon themselves go out of stock and all the rest of it, and, and, and what the demand is, but it is going to be a fairly in-demand product at Christmas, so... I thought to myself, you know what, stop umming and ahhing, just make a decision, and uh, yeah, I paid the six quid, right or wrong, I'm not too sure, we'll just have to find out at Christmas, see what the price does, um, but there's going to be some profit in it at least, even if it doesn't go up uh, to 25 or 30 quid, something like that, um, but this is just going to stay in my lock up till Christmas, along with all the other stock, I need to, what I need to do is maybe do a video on my... Um, well, it's a little bit early in the year, actually. I'll probably do a video of my sealed stock, you know, sealed uh, Lego and all the rest of it for quarter four. It's not as big this year. I am still trying to pick up bits where I can uh, of sealed stuff, but it isn't as big, unfortunately. But I might do a, uh, a video on that maybe closer to October, September, October, maybe November, something like that. Because that, that always makes an interesting video, and I think people do like to see videos like that. But yeah, that's just going in my sealed stock collection for Christmas. Next, the only reason I picked this up is because it's the vintage version of Kaplunk, and I paid £3 for that one. I think I, I had this not too long ago, I think only a few months ago, and I believe I got about 15 quid, maybe a little bit more, plus my postage. So for 3 quid, I'll take a chance on that, and hopefully I'll get 15 quid plus my postage. 
50s, maybe even a little bit higher. I'm not sure what prices are like at the moment. But as I recall, the last time I had it, I got around the 15 quid. So, yeah, that's that one there. And then finally, just a couple of items, just out of the first box uh, that, ha that I had to hand in the other room um, from my auction haul. I got loads from the auction last time. I've not even shared it with people. I've shared it on Instagram. Um, I need to actually put a highlight on my Instagram um, so that then people can go over there and actually see some of the, the hauls and stuff that I've done because they are all in my archives, in my in my Instagram stories. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this is just out of one of the God knows how many boxes I got. Um, uh, limited edition Stanley built for life flask, very very heavy duty flask, looked on complete and sold, couldn't see this exact one but I saw them generally going for 10 to 15 pounds, something like that. I think there was one that had maybe gone in America for around the 20 quid. I think I've gone either 12.99 plus postage on this or 14.99, can't remember. Um, but yeah, so it is listed now. Um, but yeah, pretty cool item, probably only owes me a quid uh, in terms of an individual cost, maybe even less than that because I've been getting boxes quite cheap recently from the auction house so I've been getting like a box for a fiver and from this particular auction house that's pretty decent um, because some of the items in the boxes are a bit more quality anyway um, so yeah this probably owes me even less than a quid to be honest so yeah that's that one there and then the other item I picked up was something I think is really cool really interesting and I do rate it a little bit this one so uh, this is this Cape Town uh, it says Mare Burgermeister, Burgermeister, something like that on there, and it's very, very thick. I don't know what metal it is, maybe bronze or something like that. I'm not, I'm not too sure to be honest. Um, it's obviously got this kind of raised up writing here, kind of. Would you say embossed? I'm not sure. Maybe you'd say embossed, but uh, yeah, Cape Town Mare Burgermeister. I don't know how to describe it necessarily. You could say like token, disc, uh, maybe you could say uh, memento of some sort, but I don't exactly quite know what it's for. Um, but yeah, maybe it was for some sort of event that was held there. It probably was. And then obviously Memento would do it justice in, in a description. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and I think I'm going to go for some decent money on that. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm definitely going to be thinking 25 quid, something like that, maybe 30 quid. Um, some people might think I'm mad for doing that. Other people might say to me, oh, you are, maybe I, I would have gone a little bit higher. So I don't know. It's just with these things, it really is a guessing game. And I can't see this being on complete and sold. I'm sure there's going to be other Cape Town stuff uh, like it on complete and sold, but not this exact one or this exact item. So... Don't know, but I think that's really cool. So I'll give you another quick look at it there. Uh, cool little item there. Again, just in, I think it was in the same box as that one actually. Yeah, it will have been. Um, so yeah, probably owes me a quid or even maybe less than that. So yeah, pretty happy with that one there. So that is it. This whole video has gone for eight minutes now and there was only four items. So I apologize it was so long. I was just rambling as always. So I will leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel and also like the video if you did like it. And I will be back very soon. I've got plans in the future for doing vlogs. I've got a podcast that I want to do in the future as well. So uh, it might have even already come out by the time this video comes out. I'm not sure what the scheduling is going to be like, which video are going to come out when um but yeah i've got plenty of plans for the future so if you haven't subscribed you may want to do so um and i will leave it there so i will see you in the next one guys i'll give you what i got the alcohol of that is flowing wild so grab yourself a